You know, it's, it's actually really crazy that we live in a time where stuff that we read in these damn comic books is actually visualized in, in a way that we never thought was possible. So I guess that means that the only way up from here, and maybe in about 10 years, we'll actually see, we'll actually see this. I mean, it's gotta happen, right? I mean, if any game can happen, anything can happen. Jesus Christ. One of the main comments that we get is, and, and this is how we can always tell who's new. Why don't you look at the camera? The camera's here, why don't you look at us? All right, let's try that. What's up, everybody? Now, I'm pretty sure everyone has seen Endgame by now. It's a cinematic achievement. Pretty much everyone's in agreement that it's the greatest comic book movie ever made. There are some people that feel differently. No, it's really small, and there's people that obviously troll. Movie suck, blah, blah, blah. Okay, whatever. Anyway, moving on. Um, and then there's some people who said, you're, you're hyped just because the first time you see it. If you really think about it, you won't feel as hyped. Okay, I've seen it three times. Two times in 3D, one time regular, and it's way, way better than 3D. I can I can tell the difference. Usually 3D is, is you know, a little gimmicky or whatever like that, but the way it's done, I mean, 3D is so good, in the beginning, you can see inside Iron Man's helmet when, when, it's, when he's on the ship. It's incredible, incredible. Seen it three times. Still doesn't feel like a three hour movie. Still incredible. The same feeling that I felt the first time I saw it, I still felt that the third time. I went, I went to the theater yesterday to see it with, um, with, with uh, Simba's mom, Sleepy. Some of y'all may know her from the early videos. And I felt the same, the same feeling, the third time. So, uh, nope, it's still incredible. It's still a 10 out of 10 for me. Some people try to judge like a movie, but you can't think about it like a movie. It's way, like, it, it's, it surpassed that. It's not just a regular movie, but you know, I say that, I say it to say this. What's been done in Endgame has not been done ever, and, and shout out to Kevin Foggy, shout out to, to, to Jim Stalin, like, the, the, the Russos, the, the, the writers, like y'all, y'all have accomplished something that, that I don't know if we'll ever see ever again. Like this is just something else. It, this is something else. I'm gonna go ahead and bet it's gonna be an avatar. I'm just gonna say that now. But whether it does or not, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't diminish what this movie has done. Now anyway, on, on, to, on to the actual point of this video. There have been a few people that have, have said that our endgame reaction played in the theater before the movie. It started with Ben Monkey. Now, um, a lot of you know Ben Monkey as the, the creator of Discount. Look it up. 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 It started by him saying that a friend of his, and this is in London, saw us on the theater before the movie. And I got hype. I'm like, damn, maybe that was like, you know, a, a one theater thing. Maybe they, they they're familiar with that stuff. But then the next day, Jamie said that her, her, um, Jamie is silent by the way. Her ex co worker told her the same thing that they saw us on screen before Endgame. And then a few days later, a few, a few people commented on the video, said the same thing. I'm like, and I already got, I'm, I was so hyped. I'm like, that is absolutely incredible. I didn't see it. I don't know what theater is playing it, but that's incredible. So, if you've seen a movie, or if you see the movie, and we play in the theater, please leave a comment and tell me. Let me know, because I, I don't know what theater does it. That's, that's incredible to me, the fact that some theaters actually do that. I don't know whether it's a compilation of, of reactors, or whether it's just us, I don't know. Let me know. Just definitely, definitely let, let us know. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but um, for Infinity War last year, we were contacted because they they um they made a a uh, rap compilation that was supposed to play before the movie in the actual theater. And I don't know if it ever did because I didn't see it and I didn't really hear anybody talk about it. So I don't know if that happened. And it maybe maybe that didn't happen and they waited for Endgame to do it. Either way, I'm good with it. Like, we played in the theater. 
dream made. Like that, just the, the thought of that alone, that people have actually seen us in the theater, that that's incredible to me. But um, if you've seen us in the theater, definitely let, let us know. Let us know because I, I want to find out more about this and, and I don't know what theater's doing it. But uh, damn, to be attached in some way to one of the biggest movies in life itself is just mind blowing. That that's it's incredible. Like I, I can't even fathom. I, I, I just I just I just can't. I'm gonna see this movie one more time on 40X because that'll that'll complete the whole you know the whole journey. I'm definitely gonna see it again, and I'm gonna feel exactly the same way I do now. It's still incredible. So um, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. If you see us in the theater, play before the movie, please let me know. Cause I want I want to know more details about this because uh, it's exciting. I want I want to find out. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We're almost at 400k, y'all. We're almost at 400k. There's a lot of craziness going on right now, so you know videos have slowed down. Plus, at the end of the month, I gotta get out of here. And the thought process is I'm I'm moving to LA. Still trying to figure everything out, and I got a month to do it. So things gonna be kind of things gonna. They're gonna be kind of crazy this month, so bear with us. Plus, I just built a new computer because my last one is just, I couldn't do anything on it. Windows screwed it up to the point where I was getting 20, 30 blue screens a day. So I just built that. It's working now, so hopefully I'm good. We'll see. You know, <laughs> Murphy's Law, you know how that goes. But anyway, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get out of here so I can uh, get some work done and try to figure everything out. Uh, love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We're almost there, y'all. 400k. Probably in a few days because uh, things are moving really fast. That damn Endgame review. That's probably the biggest, the fastest of review that has ever gone up. Because you know our reactions, they get good numbers, but the reviews, not so much. That thing did over 100,000 in a day. I was like, wow. I mean, it is Endgame, and people are on like this natural high, so it's understandable, but still incredible. So I definitely love y'all. We're on this journey together, y'all. We'll get there. Whew. It's a hell of a time to be alive, though. I tell you that. It's a hell of a time to be alive. Y'all know the motto. We struggle together. Definitely not forever. Peace.